online. Yeah, so Indian developer selling game online, you know, how does it work? Sure, sure. Uh, Hello? Yeah, one Hello. more question and then we'll actually take the slides because we the actually same. have all these covered here. Uh, yeah. yeah, I, I had the same know, question. Like, uh, if we are selling on app stores like uh, iPhone uh, games or uh, Google games, then we are ga getting uh, money through Google Wallet or PayPal. Correct. So, what are the laws governing? Sure, sure. So, I think what Ashish, I suggest you do is first do the characterization concepts. And then, uh, you know, we will walk through the, uh, you know, the slides and in fact, um, we have, you know, created these scenarios. We will try to cover as many as we can and, you know, actually some of the questions that you asked are in these scenarios. But if we have a uh, limit since, uh, you know, session started late and we have limited time, we are available in the speaker's room there, uh, you know, uh, at the end of this corridor. So happy to take questions uh, or discuss further even, you know, after the session gets over. So Ashish, do you want to quickly walk through uh, the questions that were asked? We are actually answers here. Sure. Right. So I think uh, what we need to understand basically about taxation when Can it you comes hear to him? Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. So I think what we need to understand taxing the games and the game industry is the characterization of the income that is being made over here. So whether it is in India or international or within treaties, whether your income is in the form of capital gains, royalty, or is it just business income? I think those are the three things which will, you know, identify what amount of payment that you are going to make and how you will be making it. And whether there is a withholding issue, a TDS issue, if I think you'll understand better. And when do you have to make it? And how do you have to make it? I think you need to keep all of those factors in mind, how you are running your business, whether it is a model wherein it is a business income or a capital gains or you are earning royalties. So I think we'll move to the yeah, so we will, uh, I think what uh, we will quickly do is to give very simple example to explain these concepts, right? So you create something, some IP and you sell it. You lose the ownership completely, okay? And somebody has gained ownership, right? You don't have any further right on that, right? So in this case, the income that you make is what has capital gains. And there is a specific tax allocated to that. Suppose you, the example that you gave that you give some, you know, give a, a license to somebody that you have not lost ownership and you gain income by exploitation. So what you are gaining is royalty. So for example, you are a publisher and you give a marketing agency to or reseller to further market that game and then you get royalty for that. The other example which he gave was what is the nature of business income. So you are in the, in the business of making games and giving them out, right? So that becomes your regular day to day business. So then it becomes your business income. So you need to see where you stand in these three categories and accordingly whether within India or cross border uh, the, you know, the necessary uh, characterization based on that the taxation will happen and let's see in this particular slide what happens. So uh, this is situation one wherein you have a developer. This is a full domestic situation. The developer is based in India. There is a publisher also who is based in India. The developer is now going to sell the publisher the IP. So this could either be in the form of a license or it could be a direct complete sale to the publisher. Let's look at the first scenario when this is a license that is being given to the publisher. So a license would be, license could be a perpetual license wherein the publisher has been given to exploit the rights over a long period of time or it could be a license for a smaller period of time like a year, a couple of years. In that case, the publisher is going to pay you a specific amount of money every time uh, he is making money or a minimum guaranteed amount. I think that's the business model that works in the industry today. So. When the publisher is making a payment to the developer in a full domestic situation where the developer and the publisher are both in, in India, there would be a withholding of 10% that the publisher would need to do and the develop, for the developer this is a business income, this will be royalty income which is taxed at 30% as normal business income for him. 30%. Right. And then 10% is So how withholding works is that if you have deducted 10% today 
when you when you are going to file your income tax returns at that time you are going to say that this much amount of money has been already paid as withholding tax and therefore you are going to finally pay only the amount that is remaining one question how much total tax i have to take from the so i'll give you a, an example on a monetary wise so suppose you dev, uh, the, the developer has published uh, pr prepared something and is selling it to the publisher for 100 rupees right in a full domestic situation the publisher will deduct 10% of the 100 rupees that is 10 rupees and pay you 90 rupees i'm publisher i said to the customer right from wherever right how much tax i should okay so you're on the second leg where is between the pu publisher to the customer consumer right. the player right player how much i have to tax right now in in a full domestic situation wherein you are going to take money from the consumer again it would depend on the kind of business that you have for example if you are in the business of selling games if you is a is a recurring type of right is a recurring license type of every month right so if it is a license that you are giving to the <coughs> consumer then there is a royalty impact that is going to take place and there is going to be a 10% withholding that will need to be done by the consumer and paid to you and you will have to pay 30% tax on it that's yeah, but if i sell in india yeah but right. i mean in the industry if you see what happens is it is not possible for you for the customer to, right. to actually deduct and therefore the way the uh, you know the arrangements are structured is in the nature of use you are not licensing your ip to that person right so you are allowing him to use so you are rendering a service so, so claim for a service tax so uh, in the current law that exists in service tax yes there will be a service tax implication however again as gauri pointed out it is very difficult for the consumer to pay these taxes so the liability finally rests upon you so in your total price that you are taking from the game there should be an inclusion of the service tax that you are taking and therefore you can remit it Mr. to the type of loan. mrp right see i'll just give an example suppose you are downloading an app you are put your actual uh, you know in your mind you have the cost of say 7 rupees what you will do you will have to do a mark up you pay the 10 rupee tax and then you have to say that okay what is my service tax liability because i have i have rendered these services and then you do your calculation and then you on your own pay the service tax you are not able to pass it on to the consumer so that is the way you will not put that 10 uh, 7 rupee plus 3 rupee service tax not that's not the way the industry works right to say mrp the 10 yeah, rupees like exactly that. that's the way it will have to work right shall we go to the next one yes and now one more question if that money comes from abroad right so we are coming so we are that. coming to that here okay so this is a situation wherein your developer is based outside india the publisher is in india and of course the consumer is also in india so in this situation what comes up is whether it is going to be royalty uh, or is it going to be capital gains or business income for the developer who is selling it selling the game to the publisher now uh, an example of this would be again let's take the 100 rupees that the developer is selling it to the publisher for now if the developer is in the business of you know developing games and selling it to the publisher this would this can be characterized as a business income and by virtue of the treaty that is there between india and the foreign country you will say that there is no withholding that is required to be done therefore no tds needs to be deducted by the publisher while he is paying to the developer however this suppose to a situation wherein there is an outright sale like gauri pointed out in the beginning if there is an outright sale wherein the developer is selling everything assigning the ip to the publisher there is a direct capital gains implication how does capital gains work capital gains works your value of the property the ip today uh, subtracted from rather the other way around the sale price minus the value of the ip today is the amount on which you are going to pay capital gains tax so there has been a lot of development on this front as to how would you calculate ip when it is when the developer itself has uh, you know built the ip from the very beginning how do you get to a price to it so there have been case laws on that and there has been a very different uh, ev ev evolution on whether or not there is capital gains payable at all now let's come to the third situation wherein the developer is only giving a license to the developer uh, sorry uh, to the publisher in that case uh, under the income tax act today you have a direct withholding of 25% that the publisher would need to do while making any payment to the developer so i'll give you an example here so suppose you you are uh, you know you have a gaming platform 
and on which you are uh, you know uh, licensing various games on your say you have a website for example and then you are you know putting up various games and you have these foreign uh, developers from whom you are acquiring these ips right so what happens is as he said if you are directly acquiring one time payment no issue but if your arrangement is structured in a manner that per download i will give you 1 rupee right this becomes like a royalty income and the moment you make that based on the use per use or otherwise that becomes uh, uh, you know then you have to withhold the tax as he was mentioning and it is a service there will be a service tax implication as well you are right so it is in addition to the withholding which is a direct taxation under the income tax act you also have a service tax right earlier in the earlier law this would i mean this is treated as copyright uh, and the licensing of copyright right in the earlier law and uh, under earlier service tax law there was an exemption for this today because the way the service tax regime works anything which is not specifically mentioned uh, as a excluded service you have to pay tax so there is no excluded service so there are certain elements of the copyright licensing where there is an uh, you know it falls within the excluded service but in this particular situation i suspect it will not apply so you the and what happens is the foreign developer will say why should i bear the bear the service tax burden in india it is your tax so ultimately it will come on to you in india to bear that tax you know that's the way it typically will work we are actually running out of time sorry single company no then then there is no question right because it is in house and then you have to pay its service tax in any case that's all that's right i think our time is up we did have additional uh, you know uh, sort of scenarios but uh, i don't think we have time but happy to take questions as i said in the uh, you know in the what is the name of the room revel room Rebel, yeah. at the end of the uh, uh, end of uh, end of this corridor right so uh, okay sorry for this but i know this uh, since morning the timing is running late yeah, so right. we had to cut it down so chairs okay yeah all right okay would you be able to get a presentation anyway um sure so what we will do is we'll mail it to the you organizers can, can take another couple of questions if is it so, so we could take the questions and probably be, because we had additional scenarios but let's take the question then yeah can you just payment from the ad that is what yeah payment from the ad, ad network that is being done to indian developers how does that fall payment in payment from sorry I'm ad from networks which are like ad out of in in, in europe ads. or so, anywhere yeah, else in latin yeah. america the ad developer is going to pay you for no the ad, the ad networks. networks ad networks we, we monetize through ads no in the apps all right all right okay so uh, again this would be how you are giving your uh, game to the ad network so it could be a simple arrangement wherein like in the app store you open an account and you upload the game and app store markets it for you so that somebody gets to download it in the same way the ad network you could just give the game for it to market it for you just to put it on no no we are, we are not marketing i mean they are not marketing for us we are using their uh, this thing ads uh which we, we we integrate the ads in the application right so then what and happens? then like uh, on clicks the there is the revenue basically per click revenue so, so they will give you that right they, they will so, give you the so revenue the, yeah so in they that situation they, yeah so just to uh, you know put the perspective so you are marketing them their products for which in your app in your game app and therefore they are paying you the uh, paying you the uh, you know the commission basically right. so it is in the nature of commission commission so, so yeah. this would be considered as your normal income and you have to pay normal 30% tax or whatever bracket you fall into that much so tax. just to give a perspective suppose you have a business and depending it is your your normal I'll, I'll income i'll give you an example it's yeah. just like a uh, hoarding what do you see anywhere on the no no we understand and so it is your property it is your and like uh, uh, somebody see, see there is no licensing happening there. here there is no licensing happening here right you are just taking their app and in your uh, uh, and per click they they are going to pay you the amount right so that is your business income 
so when it is your business income so suppose your your company has made losses right then you don't pay any tax if your company has made profit and this becomes part of your income then typically whatever 30% or other you know whichever bracket that you fall in you will pay tax accordingly but the simple thing to say is that it is your business, regular business income that is the way to look at it as i said everything no service tax uh, service no tax service yes tax. service tax will be applicable so uh, they will have to bear the service tax right. typically see in service service tax just to put the perspective service tax is applicable for any services rendered so you are rendering them a service but the question is who bears now that can be negotiated between the parties that you say that okay you know it is uh, we are providing you service you bear the service tax right so that that can be negotiated and the contract should specifically say that who bears the service tax right thank you yeah outside of india yeah so outside of in yeah sorry so uh, you want to answer this right. so yeah. in case of uh, the ad network is set up outside india uh, the money that is coming into india so there will be some regulatory considerations also that you would need to look at apart from that the money that you are getting for advertising this on your uh, on your game would also be considered to be business income for you and again the service tax because this is export of services right so there is export of service so there is service tax application that would take place however what you could do is look at the reverse charge mechanism and the place of provision of service rules it provides where service tax is payable if it is payable outside the country then you did not pay tax over here whatever whatever the law of that country would be you would need to pay it over there but in this case what will no no that company see that right yeah but here what happens the services because you are you are marketing their product in india it will be construed that the service is actually being rendered in india because that is the whole purpose why you are providing that service but if it it cannot be identified that because it is on the internet right so there is no one location where actually uh, you know the uh, the service is being rendered so this particular issue is uh, you know still a gray area as to where and how but as he said that if it is construed that it's a service is actually being rendered outside of india then you don't have to pay service tax in india so you know that is how to look at it where the service is being rendered and just to end what happens is all these e-commerce issues are are very new issues and there is no settled jurisprudence sometimes so you have to then see you know what is the gray area and can then can you live with that to say that you know you take a uh, you know con uh, conscious decision that okay i will not pay tax in india because i i, I think i have a arguable case that the tax should not be paid in india so because there is no settled position of law in some cases hey guys i think we'll have to wrap this up very sorry for this i have i know you have many questions uh, but both gauri and ashish are going to be in revel Uh, for the next at least 2 hours uh, may i please request to you if you have any questions to meet them offline thank you very much uh, thanks gauri it was i think as i said it's a very very complex kind of a subject but i think there's a lot of interest that people have here in this so thank you so much for being here thanks ashish thank you so much i think we're starting the funding panel in 2 minutes sorry these variables are also ah. now creating lot of legal issues <laughs>